there's essentially three steps. The first step is that um, the team will extract um, the RNA from the virus. Then that um, extraction goes through what's called a PCR process. And that helps to amplify the RNA so that um, we can understand if there's a, even a small amount of virus that's present. Um, and basically we're looking for two targets um, and there's a threshold. And if the virus is detectable and it goes over the threshold um, and both of those targets are hit, then it's a presumptive positive. If one um, goes over and one goes under, then it's considered inconclusive. And if they both are under the threshold, then it's considered a negative. So there's essentially three steps in the process, extraction, amplification, and then um, sort of interpretation. Most commonly, we're seeing them come from hospitals right now. Um, healthcare providers are also doing the testing, but they really need to have the um, proper PPE in order to, to take that sample. And um, in some cases, healthcare providers might not be equipped with that, and so we're asking them to refer those patients to local hospitals. We're seeing um, requests come in from all over the state. I think because of the presumptive positive that we had in Bennington, we are seeing um, more samples come in in the last um, two days. Uh, from the Bennington area, that's not surprising. But we're seeing it from every everywhere. Um, Rutland Regional, Springfield, VA, uh, pretty much every major hospital has uh, been submitting. They basically just need um, what are usually seen as sort of routine swabs as well as um, a, a sterile cup for sputum in terms of the sample collection. So that's a, a nasal or a throat swab. Um, we've sent out collection instructions which are very specific about what we need. Um, those need to be transported to us in viral transport media, um, which is different from bacterial transport media, just common things like that. It's all very um, common terminology and things that they would expect for sending us any number of viruses. So um, they're equipped with, with that. Um, they should be equipped with that. I mean, I think we have to keep in mind that right now Vermont has one presumptive case, right? And we're not Washington State, we're not California. I, I think we are um, taking the right approach in terms of working very closely with healthcare providers to make sure that um, they're clear about what the CDC guidelines are and um, where testing um, is indicated. And, and that's, um, I think, the best we can do is have that really tight partnership with our healthcare providers. Um, and we're absolutely doing that. Right now, we have what we need to test through the end of the month um, with what we have on hand and also what we've ordered. Um, and that's about what um, is made available to all public health labs around the country. They're, they're basically um, giving us sort of a two-week supply at a time. What we've heard from the CDC, which is our most reliable source, is um, to anticipate that there may be um, back orders or shortages of test kits. Um, as of yesterday, midday, we had the supplies that we needed. Um, we did um, get a response back from one supplier saying that they were anticipating a back order. Um, but we have what we need right now. Um, we're monitoring it every day to make sure that we have the supplies in-house that we need. And that's not just the testing kits, but it, it really is the, um, like I said, the PPE, the pipettes, everything that we use for this testing. Um, we're keeping a really close eye on all of the pieces that we need because there's a lot of steps. Our staff train for these scenarios on a regular basis, um, you know, sometimes multiple times per year. Our staff have said from the beginning of this outbreak, you know, this is not our first rodeo. <laughs> um, we um, are prepared to handle this. Um, we know what the precautions to take. Our staff are, are this is what they're passionate about. They are incredibly dedicated, um, you know, some doing 12-hour shifts. Um, our staff, you know, are deeply committed to this work and prepared.